Mitchell Mukherjee for TV Asia, he had the Shangri-La Art Gallery where there's an art exhibition of Jimmy Engineer. The exhibition is themed Ideology of Peace. Atul Veer, who's hosting this event, uh, Ideology of Peace. Explain our viewers a little about the theme. Well, you know, we came up with the idea of this ideology of peace, uh, particularly with Jimmy Engineer. He's such an icon in Pakistan. Uh, and in Pakistan, he's not only known as an artist, an award-winning artist, and uh, but also for his, uh, his movement uh, and his uh, philosophy of peace. Uh, following the uh, down, the uh, downtrodden and the oppressed and the poor people, but he's also had peace marches for having peace with India. A few years ago, he had a peace uh, march uh, from from Karachi to the border in Wa in uh, Wagga, uh, walking with the Indian flag and the Pakistan flag, and uh, that was an amazing thing to do. So he is it's beyond art; it's what represents the person, and we wanted to reflect that in in this show. With me, the artist himself, Jimmy Engineer. Welcome to Asia. Thank you. Explain a little about your um, artwork out here. It's just beautiful and we see a lot of monuments. Uh, what does it depict and about your journey so far? The majority of the work is on architectural composition. They show harmony and peace among different architectural buildings. And some of the paintings have uh, different countries portrayed like India, Central Asia, China, Pakistan, they're all together. So I wanted to portray harmony and peace on canvas. And we all wish that in reality also we'll be very peaceful and harmonious. So that is why uh, I have selected this subject. As a Pakistani artist, if I have depicted Indian architecture, that itself shows our mindset, that we are generous in our minds and heart, and we are looking forward for greater friendship. And because India is our neighbor, and uh, we as Pakistanis always want that uh, we should live in peace and harmony. And uh, if you look at my canvases, they'll show peace and harmony in the ac architectural painting. And as an artist, I've always traveled all over the world, portraying the aspiration, feeling, sacrifices of my own people. And uh, that is how I portray my art and myself, wherever I travel, because I want to unite people. I want people to live in harmony, because it's very important that uh, peace prevails and uh, there's so much turmoil in this world, and we should all uh, think and move towards peace. And actually, this is raising our hand towards friendship by creating harmony on canvas. So that is why this is my actual message. I have watched your uh, read your books, watched your film uh, Earth, mm -hmm. and today I'm watching Jimmy Engineer's uh, artwork. It, I see similarity with where you try to show uh, peace. You know, it is quite amazing. We used to live in the same building. There were three apartments. I was downstairs and uh, Jimmy and his father were upstairs. And I was writing, I started writing, and Jimmy's of course a lot younger, and he started painting in our garage. In fact, uh, that long painting is, which is in front with a lot of characters, it has, besides his brother, who is without his shirt, it has my ayah, my ayah's son. You know, the whole, our whole family sort of thing is there. And uh, he suddenly burst out with this gorgeous talent. It, it was a creative phase in the sense that Jimmy was painting, I was writing, and neither of us was aware of what was happening, except that we were all engrossed in our creativity. The whole motivation of art, of... Uh, Certainly of my writing, what I've done in uh, Cracking India, most of my work is born out of compassion and a sense of justice, you know, that things have not been properly told. There's too much unfairness going on. One wants to present every side of a picture, you know. And uh, Jimmy's also, I mean, he, I don't know, he, I at least 
experienced a little bit of partition. I was a very small child, but at least I had some idea, you know. I remember the fires, the chanting of the mobs. Jimmy had no concept of that, and yet he picked up on it, you know. And he started these huge paintings of uh, refugees and caravans, and, and he really brought those scenes alive. I have a feeling that sometimes uh, creativity is born out of some sort of inherited memory. Because while I'm writing, I find, I mean, when I wrote some of my books, which I was uh, 26, between uh, 26 and 32, I'd written The Crow Eaters, which is a very mature book. And I was a very stupid person. But something from The Pakistani Bride and that were written during that time. But something kicks in, which is bigger than you as a person, more developed than you. And I, I don't know, it's fanciful to say it's inherited memory or something, but something else does happen. Whatever we call the muse is better informed than the artist is. How do you see his artwork? He, Jimmy is a humanist, so his artwork shows and reflects different aspects of the struggle of a human being. Whether it was the birth of Pakistan and the struggle of the people at that time, or the struggle of the great mystics and the Sufis who inhabited that part of the world. And now his worldview, which you can see in some of the paintings where you have symbols of different belief systems and symbols of different parts of the world juxtapositioned one on top of the other. You've seen his paintings before, I'm sure, and uh, what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, um, uh, Jimmy is a great Pakistani artist, and um, uh, he, he has uh, depicted in his paintings uh, a uh, number of social uh, and political issues, and um, uh, it's, a, it's it's very interesting that he, um, though he is an artist, but at the same time he is, is, is sort of a social crusader as well. He he has participated in a number of um, social causes as well, and and that he has um, reflected in his, in, in his paintings. Uh, his most impressive part of his painting is. Um, the part which depicts uh, the migration of um, um, uh, immigrants from India to Pakistan at the time of the independence. Uh, it's a very, uh, these are very touching paintings and uh, they, they, they really give you the, uh, uh, give you a good impression of uh, how, how that struggle was, uh, independence struggle was fought and how uh, this uh, great migration uh, took place. So um, all in all, it's, 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 an, it's an excellent opportunity to, to understand uh, the independence struggle and the, the, the social issues which uh, cause, um, which afflict uh, our region, you know.